this is us making the demo scene for Realized, the one that comes bundled with Pro. So working from an FBX that's come out of Revit, we import it. And in this video I'll show you the kind of general workflow that you're probably going to be using with it, including materials, placing and editing lights, uh, adding some objects, changing time of day and location, making the sunlight hit the building in just the right way. Maybe add camera effects, a bit of depth of field, a bit of motion blur. And then you can save it out into whatever you like. So the output formats can be still, video, uh, photospheres, or even publishing real-time 3D straight into your browser that you can pass on to your clients. So here's me changing the materials. Now the materials are procedurally generated, they're not just static textures. So what you're seeing on the left hand side in the library, that's not all you get. You click on any one of them and you're, in, you're presented with a whole bunch of different variables allowing you to edit each one in a whole number of kind of wildly different ways. So for instance if you have, uh, you know, a core tan, you can change the actual uh, the amount of rust that is on that. You know. Uh, the grass can be maybe long grass or short grass and you can actually change a slide of it or make it vary between them. So it's not just limited to the kind of textures that you import to begin with. So on the ground you see me there, I just changed the kind of dirtiness of it, how old those textures were, how old those tiles were, whether they're cracked at the edges, how many tiles fit into a certain meter squared. So it's quite a powerful material system. And of course they come with bump and specular and the rest of it. So the way the lights work, they're all instances of each other, you work in groups. So once you change one light, you change all the lights in that group. If you're working on a shopping centre and you want to change one light, and maybe you've got a hundred of that same light, you don't want to have to go through changing each one. It just gives you a bit of advanced editing ability. Okay. We also have a built-in uh, library of objects. Now, it's relatively minimal, but it should give you the basics and it should give you the idea of how we plan to expand this feature in future. We realize that adding cars and people and various other things in the background to make your scene lively is an important part of it. And we're working to actually, you know, populate that library and hopefully integrate with some libraries online to give you a really really full catalogue there. So then I shoved in some of the trees and that's it, there's my demo scene.